If you've been holding on for just the right kind of Mercedes AMG GT this might be your moment the GTC driven here in the UK. For the first time slots into the range between the GTS and track day ready GTR it adopts the active rear steering and electronically controlled locking differential of the latter but goes without the unyielding racing buckets mad diffuser or rear wing you get a dinky retractable spoiler instead not that there isn't drama here you can most easily identify a C by the extraordinarily breadth of its aluminium rear body work which is 57 mm wider than that of the standard car and 305 section Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires meanwhile the cars more gets the chrome braces of Mercedes Panamericana grille now found across the range all in AMG's more affordable follow-up to the SLS still looks sensationally purposeful so purposeful in fact that you might wonder what might be required to loosen the vast rear contact patch the answer is the same dry sumped twin turbocharged 4.0 litre V8 found elsewhere in the range for the C it develops 550 bhp bridging the gap between GTS and GTR and Outgun in Porsche's 911 Turbo this 7000 revolutions per minute M178 engine remains a spectacular device low on lag linear in delivery flexible and above all brash and booming in its more aggressive maps selectable via Mercedes familiar drive select rotary control it may well prove too theatrical for some but for others that'll be reason enough to buy the car it's sold school AMG and along with the abrupt pillbox view through the windscreen the sheer girth of the cabin a high scuttle and tires that function as huge echo chambers on anything other than a perfectly surfaced road the GTC represents a sensory assault matched by few. If any of it rivals it means that although this car will devour big mileages you'll feel them in a way you wouldn't in say an Aston Martin DB11 which in V8 guys shares the same engine as the GT there is simply too much noise for properly relaxed progress and a mixed test route also returned only around 16.5 miles per gallon even with the car's 75 litre fuel tank that makes for a range of fewer than 275 miles the GT isn't a born tourer then but in C guys it's a more convincing sports car than ever before take a deliberate approach and there's prodigious grip to lean on in either end of the chassis which uses double wishbone suspension with increased negative camber at the front you can't fail to appreciate this car's poise or its favorable weight distribution owing to a transaxle 7 speed dual clutch transmission at the rear and while the steering ratio remains clumsily quick off center AMG's efforts to address rear roll stiffness mean the car feels less nervous than before through each stage of a corner more than 500 pounds foot of torque from less than 2000 revolutions per minute means you can break traction on a whim but the rear axle remains stable all the way up until and beyond that threshold slow in flamboyant out seems to be the way of the GTC and it's an unexpectedly predictable balanced thing if you're in the mood for that kind of driving what the GTC won't so easily do is indulge you in that almost imperceptible degree of you're the one you feel through the backs of your thighs but that requires no steering correction it prefers bigger movements and to this end there's a usefully lenient midway setting for the ESP auto car does not alas get to choose the precise specification of the car it tests and in this case we would certainly not have optioned AMG's Dynamic Plus package if the adaptive engine and transmission mounts included improved steering response and refinement you'd need a back-to-back -back comparison to appreciate it moreover the firmer suspension tune only exacerbates an inherent weakness of the GT its unsettled ride on British roads our GTC exhibited a brittleness that's at odds with the brief of a long-legged sports car even with the dampers in their softest setting there are better ways to spend 1790 £25 and given this car's unsuitability with circuit work the same can be said for the £5,995 carbon ceramic brakes although the gold calipers do sit like jewels behind the spokes the GTC feels anachronistic but on its own terms the instruments are analog the bonnet endless and that brute of an engine still dominates as a result falling for its distinctive charms is the work of a moment. Although that has always been true for only the second production car developed entirely by AMG where this C variant moves the game on for the GT is the chassis it's now better equipped to harness all that torque and deliver greater agility traction when you want it and plenty of satisfaction if you guide the car rather than trying to manhandle it in isolation it's a blast as it is Aston's new vantage and especially the 911 GTS more easily occupy the middle ground between Grand Tourer and sports car they are more delicate rewarding cars and 
cope more effortlessly with British roads unfortunately refinement remains the GT's downfall if you're still set on this car I can't really blame you, but there is a midlife facelift due later this year that would be worth waiting for it's expected to bring a mild increase in power and the digital cockpit found in the new CLS but don't expect the ride to be transformed where Surrey UK. Price £129,945 on sale now engine V8 3982cc twin turbo petrol power 550 bhp at 5750 to 6750 revolutions per minute torque 502 pounds foot at 1900 to 5750 revolutions per minute gearbox 7 SPD dual clutch automatic curb weight 1700 kilograms top speed 100 and 97 miles per hour 0 to 62 miles per hour 3.7 seconds fuel economy 25.0 miles per gallon CO2 259 grams slash km rivals Porsche 911 GTS Aston Martin Vantage